Hello everyone, welcome to The Lazy Chef. My name is Sammy and today we're going to be doing the Great Pineapple Upside Down Experiment. The reason we're doing this is because Mumsy and I are quite convinced that we just used to put sugar in the bottom of the dish. Um, but I, my school recipe says um, put syrup in and I think I've done both in my time. So we're going to do one of each and see which one comes out best. I've got a couple of taste testers ready and we shall see. So this one's for Natalie, who used to get very excited if for some reason her mum was home when she got home from school because she knew she'd be getting a pineapple upside down. And I just love stories like that. So this one's for you, Natalie. Enjoy. Okay, so I have here uh, two eight inch or 20 centimetre cake tins. And I have buttered them. You want a nice lot of butter because that just makes it even more delicious. And what we're going to do first is one of them we're going to sprinkle in two tablespoons of brown sugar. I think I'll just do it by hand. There we go. Another shake around. There we go. And then the other one we're going to put four tablespoons of golden syrup. Lovely. There we go. You might want to melt that a bit first actually. It does seem like an awful lot of syrup. There we go. That done. There we go. Right, and after that, we have our pineapple. Uh, the recipe will be in the description, by the way. I am obviously doing double because I'm doing two puddings. So put your pineapple in. I wish I had more pineapple. I would like to have had more, but. We have what we've got. There we go. And this I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of the uh, juice. There we go. Right. And then of course you cannot forget about the cherries. So a cherry inside each pineapple slice. And I always put one in the middle as well because I love cherries. So those two are ready for the sponge. Now in here, I mean I do have double, but um, I have 125 grams, that's four ounces of self-raising flour, 125 grams, four ounces of sugar, 125 grams of four ounces of marge, um, two eggs and two tablespoons of milk and I'm going to mix that up and then we'll come back to it. So here we are, I used my handy dandy hand mixer to make this really lovely. It's quite, quite runny, quite sloppy uh, batter, Ooh, which is I think there's syrup everywhere, it's kind of stuck to everything. So, here are our tins. And we're going to try and put an equal amount of batter in each one. I was worried, I didn't think that four ounces would be enough, but it's plenty. Lovely mess. There we go. 
but I have to <laughs> I have to remember which one's which. This is the syrup. Excuse me, Bob. So I've just realised that the washing machine was on spin, <laughs> so I'm really sorry about that um, and also you could hardly see the cake so um, I've moved them a bit now. I'm going to put them in the oven and <laughs> I'll be back later. So these I hope are done, um, <laughs> they seem to, I have a fan oven and they cook rather quickly in there. I'm not sure if you've even got them the right way around. I think this is the syrup one. They seem a bit flat. I don't usually get flat ones, but uh, we'll see. There we go. Hopefully, they will come off. Yes. Oh. That looks lovely. Right there. Oh, a bit of pineapple come off there. Well, actually, <laughs> that's gone rather flat. And the syrup one does look nicer, I must say. Um, then let them cool a little bit, and um, then we'll find us some tasters. It's a uh, it is cooked. I think maybe I shouldn't have put any juice in or maybe not quite so much juice and then it wouldn't have gone so flat. Okay so I've got two taste testers here and they are trying the first one. Mm. Mm. Yeah they, I think they approve. Mm -hmm. Oh that's good. Okay mm. all right then do you want to try the other one? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh, gone for the, oh yeah, she's gone for the cherry. I would too. I love cherries. Oh, it's hot. Oh, it's so hot. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. Which one's Yum. better, do you think? Um, this one. I'm yeah. going to go for that You're one. You're going to go for that one? Yeah. Ah. I was say that one. So right. this one here is the one with sugar. Mm hmm. And that one there is the one with syrup. Well, I'll, I'll, have, well, I'll have this one. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's decided it. <laughs> well, that was an interesting experiment. Um, it looks like the syrup one looked much nicer, but they both tasted really good at the end of the day. And I think um, I won't put any of the juice in from the pineapple next time. Um, I think it's possible that if it's pineapples in uh, syrup in a tin, you could probably get away with using some of the pineapple syrup in the bottom, which I think would be rather nice. But I wouldn't put the juice in. It was pineapples in juice. Still, it tasted really nice. Um, you know, and that's the point, isn't it? So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and um, take care, everyone. Bye.